Hey, what's up everybody? Llama here and I've got some uh, NCAA football 14. I must have said that wrong here. It's like in 14 before football, but um, you're going to do some road to glory here. So you can see all the players you can choose from. I was thinking about doing RG3. Um, I went straight out of Boston, had a series on Tim Tebow. So really don't want to do him. I was thinking definitely wanted to do a quarterback because uh, when you do road to glory, you only get to play as him. You don't get to like play i think they had an old ones too where you could do road to glory or whatever it was called i think probably the same thing where you create your player do all that stuff but like you'd still control the wide receiver and all that um this game you can it's a little bit better than madden like to be a pro or whatever it's called where you can create a player use like a current pro um playbook's a little better than this you can actually choose for more than one play even though it's like only three or four or I, I think three but it's still better and then you can audibles do hot routes and all that shit which in madden it's kind of more restricted and the camera angles suck in madden but pretty good in this one so this is fun and then dynasty mode was pretty cool in this too although i only got to play a little bit of it and then i started a road to glory with i uh created a guy but he was kind of boring i wanted to do um an already like made pro here so i'm using matt liner and then i just put him on usc and you can see like a minute ago i think we were ranked like 31st in the country so Definitely got a shot at winning a national title uh, with USC, and then um, actually we don't. I don't know what our schedule is. If we have really high teams that we can do, we're gonna have to play some like high-ranked teams in order to get up there. But uh, should be able to win the Heisman with Matt Leinart. He's 99 rated overall, and there you can see you use the little reaction time, which is left trigger or left joystick if you're on the 360, and it like slows stuff down. It's all right when you're passing there. I probably should have used it earlier, so my receivers could get, could have got open, but like to give them extra time to catch the ball there. Um, really good if you're uh, running the option with a quarterback. Like I said, the dude I created made him a scrambler, and running the option right when you hike the ball, you can hit uh, left trigger so you can know if you should have to like pass it off, or you can kind of like deke out the defenders and just kind of run through people, get nice... Uh, big pickups like 15 20 yards stuff like that so um yeah game's pretty fun overall i've had it for a few days now and uh i haven't played an ncaa game in a good while probably like two or three years so that's probably why i like it because i buy madden every year because there's like never anything out and i always like last year i think i was gonna buy ncaa but i was just like i'll just wait another month for madden so um probably not even gonna get madden this year because it's the same game every year it's fun for like three weeks and then you're just like all right i wasted 60 bucks on this shit so um yeah, I, I always do that with Madden. I buy it every year, even I'm like, oh, I shouldn't buy it at all. It's like, all right, I need something to play, get into football again once that starts going on TV all the time. Get, like, real pumped up and shit, like, hyped up for the season. And then I always buy Madden, so I'll probably buy it again this year, even though I'm saying I won't. Um, Joe's looking at some stuff on the PS4, and since GTA V's coming out for current-gen consoles only, probably going to wait not even buy a PS4 this year, that, and because, like, the show and stuff's going to be on it for another, like, probably, like, five years, I would think. And, um, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, the thing I was thinking about getting the Xbox One was for dedicated servers for games. I don't have it for, like, Titanfall and, all, and stuff like that, but Titanfall is going to be on the 360 anyways. And then I was like, all right, they're going to have, uh, Black Ops, or not Black Ops, Call of Duty Ghost a week early, which probably end up buying anyways, because everyone says COD sucks, but it's still the best multiplayer game. There's some frustrating crap in the multiplayer, but, um, still a really fun game to play, but... Yeah, it comes out a week early on Ghost. I don't know about PS4, but er, I, a week early on Ghost. So you can see how retarded I am. Uh, it comes a week out a week early on the Xbox One. I don't know if it's uh, PS4 too, but it'll come out like on the second on the one, and then like the seventh or the eighth for every other console. So probably have that, and then I'll have the map packs a month earlier. Uh, I think it'll be exclusive to the 360 and the one, not just the one, but. Um, yeah, Xbox is supposed to have like 300,000 servers for the uh, for the one, so it's like that'll be cool for uh, get Call of Duty Ghost to play on some dedicated servers. And they're like, yeah, since it's cross-platform, still not gonna run dedicated servers. So even if you get it for the Xbox One, you're gonna have the peer-to-peer -peer connection thing. There's gonna be less people playing on it, so they probably sell a million consoles. Is probably being pretty generous because I don't think anyone's gonna get the one. I'd probably say there's gonna be 500,000 total consoles sold for that thing. So say maybe. Uh, Maybe half of them get uh, ghost for it, and then uh, play online. You're probably going to be looking at anywhere from like 50 to 150,000 people online at once. Or if you get it for the uh, for the 360 or the PS3, you're going to be up around 500,000 to a million for like the first few months every time you jump on that thing. Which um, I don't know. They really need to get auto audience retentiveness on that thing. Like uh, I was playing Black Ops 2 the other day, and there was only like 100,000 people on. It's like all right for a game that sold like 30 million copies no one plays this shit anymore because they're just tired of all the snipers and 
all the bullshit in it. So um, yeah, hopefully they can do something to keep people playing it. I saw they're always putting out the new uh, DLC camos, which is just like dumb. It's just a waste of money when people buy that crap. But game is over here. I didn't even really talk about it because I got in a little uh, little rant there on the Xbox One. But Leonard had like 556 passing yards, I think, four passing touchdowns. Rushing touchdown, two interceptions, which probably is going to hurt my uh, chances for the uh, Heisman thing. Try to keep the interceptions down, but a lot of yards there you can see. I think, um, I don't know what the thing was. I can go back there, or people are going to rewind the video to what his total uh, yards in a season were. I want to say it was like 33, 3,400, but I think I'll definitely be able to shatter that this year. I should be looking at 4,500 to maybe five my 5,000 yards. I don't know if I can do that or not, but... Um, then you can see we're at the bottom of the uh, Heisman voting, and I think if I didn't have those two interceptions, I would be number one. But uh, Manziel's number one, so hopefully I can keep the turnovers down and uh, just keep uh, putting up a lot of yards. And then uh, so if you can win the Heisman and go to the uh, good on big bowl game too. And you also have four seasons, not just one. I'll probably finish out all four of them on this thing too. So all right, the next video will just be uh, week two. I'll probably just go through and play every game since there's only like what like. Uh, 13, 14 games in a season, depending if you go to the conference finals and your bowl games too, I think like 14 max. So, uh, alright, that's it. Bye.